All right, so charge codes, let's start where we're beginning. You're going to accounts payable and you're gonna go into setup. So accounts payable, setup, and then you'll find charges, setup, charge code. All right, so I was using the vendor freight as an example. So you, you're gonna be clicking new and you're gonna give it your code that you wanna use along with your description. And the key part in order to achieve landed cost is that we're going to need to debit the item. So when you have your selections, you have a choice here and you wanna choose item. And if the charge code is going to be coming in on the vendor's invoice, then you're going to use the type of customer slash vendor, because that's what you're going to be needing to credit. You're going to need to credit the vendor. Okay, let's look at how we set up the insurance one. All right, so we would have basically hit new and start with a charge code that you want to use and the description. And since we want to be able to capitalize the cost, the idea is that we must debit the item. And the other part of it is it's insurance. So therefore, what we're trying to do is reduce the expense that has been booked to a certain GL account. In this case, this is the account that it was originally booked to. So that's where we're going to be credited. So we say we're going to go to the ledger account and say credit. You have to fill in posting. So I just always use this up purchase fee example here. And there you have it.